All right, so in this presentation, we're just talking about some of the base uh, blitzes that we have in our defense here at Mount Union. So first one, we talk about war pressures. So war pressures for us, there's any five-man pressures uh, playing cover one behind it. So we put them in categories so our guys can understand it. So like I said, war, war blitz is in our defense. It's a five-man pressure with man-free coverage. So we have a post safety that's free. Okay, just a way for us to close the middle of the field with the post player and account for the running back with the underneath defender. Okay, for us, you know, whoever has the running back, we call it engaged cover. So if he's going to block, we're going to add him to that back and, and get an additional rusher. Okay, and we got to make sure we're initially working aggressively towards the running back just to clear any screens or anything like that. And then we'll adjust our path to go get the. Um, quarterback okay you know defenders in the pressure pattern you know must understand the down and distance so for us it's more so like more of the 50 50 downs we, we want to go a little bit quicker on a lot of our games that we're going to have within these pressures uh so they just need to understand that where if it's more of a passing situation they might be able to sell a, up and under a little bit more okay all right so this is just going through how we teach certain certain uh, blitz techniques and you know what we're telling for our guys so you'll probably see a couple of these on the screen as we go through some of the blitzes so contain blitz um, for us we always tell them that, that guy he's going to key the offensive tackle and then verse run at him he's going to post and set it down he wants to box everything back inside anything would run away he's thinking boot reverse so you got to be that that player not just flat chasing you got to contain it for boot or reverse, okay? And like I said, nothing gets outside of him. And then verse pass, obviously he's a contained guy. We always say it's the upfield shoulder, making sure he's keeping the quarterback contained. Okay, an edge blitzer, that's the blitzer that's always the next guy that's inside of the contained blitzer. So uh, he's still keying the offensive tackle, but run away, he's going to flat chase because he knows he has a contained rusher outside of him. And then if it's to run at him, he's going to spill the ball uh, for one gap, okay? And then for verse pass, he's going to get on the inside edge of whoever's blocking him and get penetration. Get penetration. He's going to be uncaged because he knows he has the contained rusher outside of him. So that's, you know, the technique we're going to use when you see that term edge. Then crash, blitzer, blitz path. Um we always tell him his aiming point is outside hip of the end man of the line of scrimmage. Okay. So, um, verse run, offensive tackle, base out. You're going to post and sit it down. Tight end, base out, stone, stone him for us. Just means he's just going to go inside. Okay. And then he, he is spilling the ball because he would have a contained blitzer coming from outside of him. And then we say his aiming point is a downfield shoulder to quarterback. Um, or front shoulder of the quarterback, however you want to look at it. He's not the contained guy. Okay, and then we'll, you'll see some U games within uh, some of these war pressures and different blitzes that we have on this presentation as well. Um, so that's just when, you know, you got a three and a five. The three, is, the, the, the looper is selling hard up the field. The five technique is going to be selling hard up the field, and he's looping back inside. And our three technique is going to be the penetrator trying to get on the, the back of the tackle. Okay, so you'll see some, some clips of that. Okay, so the first pressure we're going to talk about here, we call it fire burn. Um, fire is from the field, burn is from the boundary. Okay, then it's just listing all of our responsibilities. So it just flips depending on which way it goes. But like the first one, fire, Mike is a contained blitzer. Um, then the penny is our field defense to end or four eye when we're, when we're playing four eye defense him and the nose are going to run an inside u game and then to the back side we get a u game it'll make a little more sense once i get to the diagrams here but um fire burn this blitz is based off of the running back okay so you know it's either going to be fire or burn depending on which side the running backs to if the running back is to the field it's fire okay if the running back is to the boundary it's going to be burn 
Okay, so like I was saying before, the mic and the band will walk up for us because if we're in a three-man front, those two guys are going to walk up. Basically, you're going to get a bare look. Um, and then if we're if if it's uh if they're going to be the contained rusher to their side uh, of the running back. Okay, rushers opposite of the blitz side will execute you or me game, uh, depending on the alignment of the nose and the tackle. Okay, and then the linebacker walked up. Excuse me, linebacker not walked up. It's going to be man to man on the running back. 